Hey guys, Matt here with Titan Terrain Studio. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the Helderado Kickstarter, which was funded on March 22nd of 2013. Uh, which uh, they funded it a lot. Uh, it was 129,000, and they were originally shooting for 15 grand. Uh, this is for their expansion for the Inferno game. So I'm going to go ahead and show you my Kickstarter, which I've just received in the mail. Now, they had various options that I could get for this, but uh, one of the big things that I really love about it, about it is that they released a hardcover version of the core rulebook. So as you can see, that's uh, very nice. I will be doing re in-depth reviews of these over the, next, uh, over the next couple weeks, but I just wanted to kind of go over this with you real quick. So what you've got here, and these are just two random miniatures that I have on my desk, uh, you have the core rulebook, and then you have the expansion Inferno, Inferno brings two new terrain types to the board, as well as a whole slew of new units. We're just going to do a quick little flip through, and I believe these are like packing packing things from where they had them shipped from China. But as you can see, these are very nicely done. There's a whole lot of detail to everything, all sorts of really cool artwork. Just a ton of really good eye candy all over the place. I'm just really pleased to, that these came in because that, that kind of made my day. Also with this, I got a uh, jacket patch. I got some custom Helderetto dice, which interesting thing, you only ever need five dice in this game, which I really love. I also got this tape measure. Now, this tape measure at first I thought was a little weird because it's shaped like a square and the, the tape measure pops out right there. See if I can get it one-handed, I probably can't, but here, let me try this. All right. But yeah, you can see where it, uh, where it comes out right there. It's also got a level on it. <clears throat> Sorry, still a little bit sick. Uh, not sure why there was a level put on there, maybe to see if the table is level. But the thing I realized about this is that most tape measures are really big and bulky. This one is about the size of a credit card. And it's not that thick, so it could fit in your pocket really easily, which is very nice. Uh, then you've got this. This is a little, uh, a little art print of the main cover for the Inferno book, which is always nice. You've got the Inferno deck, which I haven't opened up yet, but I will do that when I do a more in-depth review of these. Uh, and then these are all the miniatures that I got. Now, I know what you're thinking. That's not really a lot of miniatures. Uh, the, the core one would have come with... Uh, the Inferno Kickstarter would have come with... Uh, two starter boxes, but I traded in all mine, and these are all of the rare and alternate sculpts. So, for instance, I've got the Traveler Officer version. Really powerful. That's going to be the beginning of my Mercenaries. I've also got the Twilight Knight uh, custom one for the Kickstarter. You could only get this one through the Kickstarter. And then I've also got Anne Hale, Anne Haley, uh, who is also only through the Kickstarter. And that's going to be really fun. On top of that, what I traded my uh, my stuff in for was some limited edition sculpts. Uh, like this one, I believe, is the Hashishin. It's like a Muslim shadow assassin. Uh, then this is an alternate uh, sculpt of Sister Elois for the Westerners. Then right here is an alternate sculpt of the Succubus. And I'm going to have fun putting these together. Lastly, this is the first Lost figure that I've got. This is the alternate sculpt of the Retarius, I think is how you say it. But he's essentially uh, a big gladiator with an insect head. Yep, he has a bug head. So there it is right there. But yeah, this is going to be the first of a series of videos I'm going to be doing for Helderado. Just reviews of each of the books in depth. Uh, I'm going to also do a working construction of all these models. So you'll get to see these assembled and then painted. And then just uh, after that, we'll get to games. And that'll be really fun, because I really like this game. This is, this is like my, I think my favorite game right now. So anyway, take care guys, and stay tuned for more content.